super scruffy and mighty cute. We have Biko and Barry. They're 14 week old pups who are part of an unexpected, unwanted litter that ended up at our shelter. And sadly, their story is all too common during this time of year, and dozens of young puppies arrive at the Arizona Humane Society each day, many of which are too young to go up for adoption, similar to, to these little babies right here. And it's, you know, it's during this time of year that we're always desperately in need of foster homes to help us raise these babies. And AHS will provide all of the food and the supplies. All you need to do is give them a little love, a little food, and some hearty meals for a few weeks. Um, if you want to help and become a foster parent, we encourage you to attend the upcoming orientation. It's next Thursday from 6 to 8.30 at our Sunny Slope campus. There are literally hundreds of little puppies these guys that are in need. And who can resist these adorable faces? We really appreciate your help in anything that you can do. And it's time for our Breed of the Week with the all-knowing Perry Bonzo. Hey. And Perry, today we are showing off an English bulldog, and I can hear her snorting all the way over here. She is just too cute to, to be here. <laughs> Well, Carrie, the very first reference in literature to this dog was way back in 1500, but no doubt the dog back then differed greatly from the dog we see today here. The dogs back then were used for what's called bull baiting, and they would uh, grab the bull by its nose and kind of pin it down. It was actually considered to be a sport. It's been outlawed since the early 1800s in Britain, but that dog was much taller, much lankier, and had a much more protruding nose to be able to do that. This dog today would not come close to being able to do that with a bull. So uh, here they are, though. They're uh, short little squatty guys and um, the cartoon character face and the snorts and all. Just know what you're doing when you're getting involved with a doggy like this. They have some medical issues. They have folds in their skin, which have to be taken care of. This is not the kind of a dog you're going to take hiking up Camelback Mountain, for sure. And they do have a breathing problem. And make sure that you're uh, all ready for the snores and the snorts that these doggies do. This Mona girl was fostered by a great foster volunteer, Daryl. And he said that uh, she's good with dogs, but she's a little bit dominant and probably would be better with uh, maybe older kids in the home. But you can hear her snorting, and she is a piece of comedy material right here.